Hi, welcome to my video. In it, I'm going to show you, hopefully, how you can find yourself your own um, British proxy to watch programs that might be normally blocked. Um, for the example that I'm going to use in this video, BBC iPlayer. Now, normally, Brit uh, BBC iPlayer, Channel 4, Channel 5, um, ITV Player, all the British UK TV channels online will be blocked if you're not actually from um, connecting from Britain hence why people look for British proxy servers. This uh, proxy server basically acts as uh, an intermediary between you and the web server you visit. So instead of seeing your IP address and your location, the um, BBC iPlayer, for instance, or the website will see the proxy's IP address. And if that happens to be a British one, you'll be able to get access all the, um, the content as normal. Uh, same works with uh, if you're trying to access things like Hulu or HBO or NBC in the States. If you're outside the US, you'll get blocked. If you use a US proxy, you'll be able to access it. So, okay, let me just show you a US proxy. Uh, I'll, first of all, I'll start and show you what happens if, um, if you try and access a BBC iPlayer program outside the UK. You'll get this message or something similar. <coughs> Excuse me. It basically says BBC iPlayer TV programs are only available in the UK. You can, uh, I think you can get a couple of the radio channels, but none of the um, the full uh, BBC programs in it at all. Uh, okay, so my IP address is not a British one, so I can't access this. So what do I do about it? Well, I'm going to show you first, you've got two real options. You can go the free proxy route or you can um, use a subscription service. Um, both will actually work with BBC iPlayer. Uh, they won't work with ITV and Channel 4. Um, the, free ones, the free ones won't work with that because you'll need a VPN for that. But with BBC iPlayer, free and paid proxies work. Uh, right, uh, the, the free ones. Uh, the difficulty really is twofold. First of all, you've got to find a fast proxy because you obviously can't watch stream video along a really slow proxy server. And secondly, you've got to find a UK proxy. There's no point just grabbing IP addresses of proxies from across the web. Uh, if they're not in the UK, they won't work. So they won't be able to access SciPlayer. So um, what I suggest, if you go in the free route, try proxy.org. That's www.proxy.org. Uh, they scrape loads of um, proxy servers from across the internet every day. <coughs> and uh, basically, they... they um, section them off in different areas so you um they put them into different categories uh one of the useful ones in this situation is web proxies sorted by country so you can go and look at what, what uk proxies are available at the time don't get me wrong it's not the easiest method to do simply because for watching video you do need to find a fast one so it could take quite a while to find one and you'll have to do it each time. But if you want to watch the old program one-off or something, and you're not going to use it regularly, um, it, it might be worth it for you. Okay? So that's proxy.org. Scroll down, find the sorted by country, and try and use one of those. You could try the web proxies, or there are direct proxies there as well. Um, yeah, these are open proxies. Uh, be careful with all these. Make sure that you don't use them for anything that's um, secure. Uh, don't log on with a, a proxy enabled to, to log on to your PayPal account or your bank account or anything like that. They're not safe to use. Some of them are, some of them aren't, but you won't know which ones. So be very careful. Just use it for streaming video, okay, if you use it. Right, okay, so I'm going to close proxy.org. I'm going to close BBC iPlayer, and we show you the service I use. It's uh, now there's there's hundreds of these services around. Uh, I've tried a lot of them, and this is the one I use. It's called Identity Cloaker. Okay, the reason I use it, it's um, it's pretty inexpensive. Uh, it's only a few bucks a month, uh, and also you get servers in all different countries. Okay, it's it's primarily security software, but it gives you access to a whole network of um, proxies across the world. Now I'm going to connect through a British proxy here. You can see it just sits in your taskbar. You can enable it when you need it, okay? I'm gonna turn the encryption down because we don't really need encryption. This is, as I say, security software. So if you're traveling and you use, want to access uh, your bank account or email securely from hotel Wi-Fi, cafes, stuff like that, uh, this is what you need to use. But we're using it just 
to watch BBC iPlayer. So I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to find a, um, a UK server. Right, and then I'm just going to connect to it. Oh, that's a faster one. Uh, sorry, I've had to blur these out, but um, just for security. So I'm just going to close that and I'm going to start and go into BBC iPlayer. So this now, uh, everything I've got is connected, is, is routing through this um, this British proxy. So if I go to BBC iPlayer, if you can remember, I couldn't access it before. Let's just refresh it. Uh, what should we watch? Doctor Who, shall we? Just click on OK there. And this is where I got the uh, error message last time. Now I can um, stream directly through it. And it works perfectly. They're very fast servers. These you are obviously paying for them, so they're well maintained. They're super fast, uh, and they're easy to use. So that, that's what the cost is, obviously. So um, uh, and there's there's several hundreds of them. You can use them for Hulu. Uh, there's ones in Canada, France, Germany, uh, USA, oh, Denmark, Russia, quite a few others. I forget. Um, but it's worth exploring some of the other TV channels in different countries because there's some good stuff out there. And there it works perfectly. I'm just going to stop it there. And that's Doctor Who playing through a British proxy. I am not in Britain at the moment, but I can able to access it. Works fast, works smoothly. And you can also use the program on your tablets, iPhones. Um, you have to set up uh, what's called a VPN manually. I'll put a link in the description below. And I've also added a um, discount badge for the Identity Cloaker. There are loads of others. Feel free to try whichever ones you want. You only need a proxy for BBC. Some of the other programs you need a VPN. Th this identity cloaker is technically a VPN. Um, so it'll work with all channels. I don't think anything it doesn't work with. Um, but some are just proxies, so we'll only work with BBC. Okay, right. Thank you for watching. I'll keep this video short. And uh, I hope um, I've helped in some way. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye.